Hey guys, ever since I lost all my data a while back, thing that I've mentioned in a previous video and also how I managed to recover it all, I've became a little paranoid regarding stuff like this. But what's even more annoying is when Windows crashes beyond any repair. And again, this is something that happened to me even more recently than uh, the data loss incident, but unfortunately I haven't made a video about that. What's annoying about it is that I have to reinstall Windows, uh, reinstall all the drives, all the software that I use, hope not to forget anything, personalize everything how I like it, basically making everything how it was before Windows decided to show me the blue screen of that. And this is a process that can take even a day in some cases, depending on how many stuff you have to or you had on the PC or laptop previously. The best thing to avoid this no, avoid is the wrong word because no matter what you try in order to prevent a potential blue screen, it can still happen. So to rephrase this, the best weapon against a blue screen or any other error that might make your windows useless, unbootable, completely broken, is a backup tool. And I know what some of you might say, wait a minute, you can do backup with windows, where windows backup was completely useless, and that's why a third party software is the best choice. And this brings us to Mini Tool Shadow Maker, a very good, very small, that's why the name I guess, and very easy to use all-in-one data protection and disaster recovery tool. Mini Tool Shadow Maker can back up your Windows system, import files and folders, select partition, and even the whole disk. With a copy of the backup, you are able to restore data once a disaster occurs, like system crash, hard drive failure, and more. Okay, so let's start from the beginning with download, install and backup our entire system. First thing, open our browser and search for Mini Tool Shadow Maker or click on the link in the description. Here you have the option for a free download and upgrade to Pro. There are some differences, of course, between the free and the pro version like SSL encryption or backup in Windows PE, but the main thing, the main backup and restore for operating systems or for the entire disk, it's there. You have it on free and on paid. So we will start this video with the free version and see how far it brings us. And I'm pretty sure that it will bring us until the end. And if you like it, then you can subscribe for the pro version where you pay $6 a month or annual $3 a month. Which is a pretty good deal if you want to feel safe about your data or if something happens to your device you know that you have everything safe and exactly how you like it so we're going to download the free trial it's very standard very basic and the download is very fast because like i said it's just two megabytes and then you just double click on it install now and it's done so now we have uh, mini tool shadow maker open and as you can see the tool is pretty straightforward backup sync restore and so on you don't really need an exact guide how to use this tool it's pretty intuitive to say like this i click on backup and here we have source and destination on source you select either your system or the whole drive i will select everything this is my main local drive and i press ok and at destination you can choose uh, in case you have a usb i unfortunately i don't have a larger usb i have a 64 gigs usb and this is not enough to back up all my c drive so i will use an external a two terabytes external hard drive to back up my system and once this is selected you can just simply click on backup now do you want to do the backup operation now? Yes. And now we wait. And now it's just a matter of time, depending how much data you have on um, your drive. And the, lo the more you have, the longer it will take. Of course, this is not everything that this tool can do. This is just the basic, the fastest way to back up your system. If you take a look, if you like to tinker with stuff like this, there are more options here, more tools like uh, Media Builder or Clone Disk and stuff like this. What I've shown you so far is the easiest and fastest way, which I also think that is the most important feature of this tool. So there we have it. The backup is complete. You now you can close the tool if you want. And here on the external drive, we, I check and I see that used space 89 gigs. So I did good that I didn't try this on my USB and I did it on the external drive because as you can see, it would have been way more than 64 gigs. Now, let's say that we want to restore. We just open Mini Tool Shadow Maker. You click on restore, restore, select the backup version you want in case you have more you can do this every day two three times a week once a week once a month how often you think that is necessary for you and then you press on next 
and here shows you everything that you previously selected to backup again you press next you select the drive in my case would be c and then you press on next i will not uh, go on from this step because obviously i have obs here recording but is that easy once you press next the system will restore from this uh, version of the backup i guess you have to restart it one time after i'm not sure if that would be the case then that will be also the final step so this was it very fast very easy and um, i guess for three dollars a month i really think that this is worth it cheers